Now back to California, where an atmospheric river is continuing to dump heavy rain on the state. Torrential downpours caused flash flooding and mudslides. They closed key highways, toppled trees, and swept away entire roads. California has been suffering also, though, from record drought. So you'd expect the recent rain deluge uh, to help solve maybe some of at least those persistent problems of dryness. But as Lana Zak explains, that's not happening. Well, the biggest issue comes down to just how dire conditions were in California before this storm. The land was just too damaged by wildfires and sustained droughts to actually take in all this new water. Let's start there. It has been the state's driest three-year period in history. Key reservoirs are down below 50 percent, as you can see, and over half of all state wells are also measuring below normal levels, according to California's Department of Water Resources. Under normal conditions, snowpacks melt in the spring, refilling these reservoirs and aquifers. But in this case, plenty of snow has, in fact, fallen. But the system for absorbing water has become so parched that the land can't take it all in. Think of it as a houseplant that you've neglected for three months. You can't bring it back to life with a hose. So people are wondering why officials can't store these flood waters to try and help out with the drought. There's three reasons for that. First, a lot of this rain ends up back in the ocean. Second, it's really falling too quickly to be stored and reallocated to these key reservoirs. And third, as you've likely seen, rainwater is just not drinkable without undergoing treatment. And when it comes to standing water from floods, the cross-contamination is extensive. So anything ending up in the water supply really requires substantial cleaning. John? Lana Zach, water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Thank you.